Hello everybody and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays The Darkest Dungeon. My name is Stealing 33 and if this is the only video we're putting up today, it is because I am currently traveling to Wisconsin with my girlfriend for Anime Milwaukee. So you guys will probably, this will be the only thing I put up today, probably, if I had to guess. Um, not because that's like, that, that that's not what I want, but, uh, you know, yeah, how it is sometimes. Yeah. Lunge is good. Can you do flashing daggers from there? Poison darts. Yeah, okay. So then what can you do from there? Sack stab. We can incur weird reconstruction demon pool. Yeah, all right. Do we have something that'll let us stop ambushes with this team? Doesn't look like it. So it looks like we're going to have to be extra spicy with our fighting. We got a lot of self-healing. We've got battle heal. We've got weird reconstruction. You've got... You do not have toxic trickery, but that doesn't matter because we've got tons of healing that we can do with this team. What do we got for in the way of trinkets and shit? Trinkets and baubles. Uh, of course, we have the stun amulet. We have something for the grave robber. Plus two speed, plus 20 movement resist. And we'll also just give you this. Weak grip on life is terrible. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, what are your guys' quirks? Healer's gift. Plus 20 healing. Scra ruins scrounger. Flawed release. No crit or no bad ranged skills. Doesn't matter because he doesn't have any. Tuckered out is kind of shit. Heliomania, Stiltomania, Crockery Slayer, Heromania, Eldritch Slater, Unholy Hater. So we're actually pretty good to go to either the Cove or the Ruins, depending on what it is that we feel like we're doing here. Let's take a look at the trinkets for this week. Snake Oil, Healing Charm. Survival Guide. The Survival Guide is actually really good, so I think we're going to go to the Cove. This is like an okay-ish team to go to the Cove with, but just in case, we're going to over-prepare with food uh, a little bit. So we're going to get our Rekka Woods at 16, but I think we're going to get up to 32 food. We're going to bring, of course, three shovels, two keys, two of these, two of these. And because we're going to the Cove, we're going to bring herbs, and we're going to bring fucking bandages. Um, and we're going to bring a couple torches. We're going to bring a stack of torches. 12 torches seems fine. Uh, we're going to go a little hard just because uh, the cove is kind of a nightmare land. Um, and uh, hopefully this will work out fine. So here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, if you're wondering, I, I, uh, I've i decided Darkest Dungeon's like sort of the big hotness for me personally. It's a game that I'm enjoying playing the most. So uh, that's why this is the video that I decided to do emergency prepare, so to speak. Uh, we'll do the knife for this. Perfect. A little bit of, a little bit of moonay, eh? a little bit of moolah, money, money, money. All right, here we go. Now for the real test. Does this team suck? Let's find out. Blights are great here because of uh, lots of reasons, but mostly because these guys have all have terrible, terrible blight, uh, blight resistance. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Get out of here. Well, we do need to clear the corpses, though, very regularly, because the corpses here suck. Uh, they cause problems for our team, if we're not careful. We do a lot of damage, um, and I'm I'm hopeful that this will work out fine. I'm a little nervous about getting ambushed during our camp, but I feel like if we just hit hard enough, it won't really matter that we're going to get ambushed, probably a lot. Uh, we need to do two damage to this guy, so this is looking like a good huge chance for us. Um, let's go ahead and stab the shit out of you. Oh, yeah, 12 damage, baby. Please, more of that. That's an Eldritch Hater plus all the Eldr extra Eldritch damage we do with, um, uh, his abilities. Let's start the healing up a little bit here. Just a little bit. Um, it don't, the battle heal only sometimes heals, so we have to be aware of that. Um, this is how a life is taken. And it's, uh, it's very critical that we don't accidentally get... Uh, rely on that to save somebody's life and then have it kind of fuck us real bad. It's a good huge chance for us, again. Um, I'm looking to heal uh, Derveal. Looking to heal Derveal. For three. Good job. Right. Hugh. Good. Fantastic. Not that bad. We'll heal him up more as we go forward here. Uh, if we put this in there, it'll be Drought of Man. This is money. I think. So we'll go ahead and do that. Which gave us a trinket. Archer's Ring. For increased ranged skills. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And we'll put the uh, the Mazer's hat on you. So that way maybe 
Just maybe you'll stop getting hit all the time. And maybe it'll be fine. We're gonna wait to camp. I'm not feeling the I'm not feeling the burn to camp right now, so I feel like it'll be fine. Go ahead and pop a couple torches here. Goes back up to 100 percent That trap's bad. The debuff's the nastiest part of that, to be honest, but um like, these aren't, like, the wheeled traps. In the wheeled, the traps actually, like, can kill you. Here, they're sort of, like, a mild annoyance coupled with a bad debuff. And the debuff's actually, like, the worst part. Which is why we brought those herbs. But, um... You know, we're not... Obviously, we're not using them for that purpose. We use them to find gold. Which, in fairness, is a good idea. Oh, yeah! That's a lot of healing. Hell yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and blight you. Let's start. We're going to blight him because uh, we need to get rid of this guy quickly. Uh, the other ones are all annoying, but this guy won't die unless we blight him. Which is like half the problem right now. Let's go ahead and kill you. Decimated. We need to get rid of that corpse if we can. Withstand is very good here, I can think, because it gives him a big buff to everything. So I think we're going to just do that a whole bunch to get his stress down a little. And to protect him from damage, which will be nice. The debuffs are bad. That's not great. It gnaws at the back of my mind. My mind, my precious mind. Alright, we got to get rid of this corpse this turn. So we will, we will endeavor to do so with uh, Duvall here. New Reynalt. Raynault 2.0. Raynault with a vengeance here. Or we'll just smack it with the leper. That also works for me. Smack you too. Continually onslaught. We're going to let the maggot get blighted more. to death, I think. I think that's the best plan at the moment. But we'll see. Stress wave is bad. The stress is getting a little out of control. It, he's the best target to get stressed because, honestly, he's the only target that can heal him his own stress, so that's sort of where I'm at with that. Go ahead and hew, chop this one to death. There we go. Bring him a little closer. Kill this guy. Good. Good. We'll camp in a little bit here. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Hemophilia, huh? That kinda sucks. Hemophilia only sucks because this place has got a lot of bleed in it. And there we go. Arbalist grieves, huh? Too bad. No, oh, Arbalist lives. She survived that that encounter, that uh, that dungeon. Dismas and uh, Arbalist were the only ones who survived that dungeon. Is there any more fights ahead? There's a treasure room ahead. Uh, let's camp now. We'll camp now, deal with our stress a little bit, heal up a little. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Quarantine yourself. I know that that hurts him, but I also know... Oh, we do have something. We have Unspeakable Commune to deal with nighttime ambushes. Lucky, lucky. Do this. is great. The stress is really what we need to deal with here. Uh, and then we'll pilfer. And Anti-Venom. Actually very useful. Uh, we did get, we got, we dealt with our stress pretty well there. Right. The promise of and safety. luckily, I, that speakable commune saved us probably from getting ambushed. These citrines are gonna pay for themselves. Oh boy. Alright, these assholes gotta go. Um, we'll start with you. Well, I mean, she's gonna work on, on her, I bet. And we'll, ha we'll pull her in and maybe just try to wipe her out a little bit. The stress is really bad. Uh, the damage, actually, we actually have an easier time dealing with the damage than we do dealing with, um, dealing with anything else. Because everybody has, like, a bunch of self-heals and a bunch of healing things that they can do. And not to mention, we also have, like, my favorite heal in the game here, which is, like, super good. Battle heal is pretty good. Battle heal is even better in vanilla Darkest Dungeon because it has a stress heal on it as well. I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. See, they always, they always go straight for the Grave Robber when they do their fucking stress shit. Spearfishing sucks. That's a, a hard-hitting move. Uh, let's go. She's not quite dead. But we're gonna let the, we're gonna let the, um, the Grave Robber deal with that, I think. 
with another blight, hopefully. Yeah, that, that works out. Okay, good. The corrupting the corrupting guy's gotta go because he causes debuffs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he causes debuffs when he hits you. So he's gotta go. We'll heal the leper with um our occultist on the next turn here. Spearfishing sucks. Oh, nasty hit. Yeah, she's dead. Uh, let's head, go ahead and heal you. You're already bleeding. Oh, okay. Well, that's not so bad. Or that was kind of terrible, but that's okay. Do that a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. R-E-S-P-C-T. Go ahead and heal yourself a little bit here. We're just going to heal him for a little while. I mean, he needs to get healed, so I see no reason not to do this. Heal yourself. Seven's good. That puts him back in the game. We don't have to worry about him he be needing healing anymore. Unless he gets critted here. Nope. Good dodge. Fantastic, actually. Go ahead and heal yourself again. Then we'll do battle heal on him. Good. The healing's great, because uh, it's just gonna, it's gonna make our lives a little bit easier. He's dead now, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. There we go. Goodbye. Not so bad. Like I said, the healing's not... Uh, keeping people healthy is not a problem for us. It's it's really... The stress is going to be a problem as we go forward in the dungeon here. Uh, oh, this is the coral, which we could put holy water on? No, we could put something on this to touch it. It's abrasive and unnerving. That's not great. We'll have to do a bunch of withstands to get rid of that. Again, luckily, out of all the people... I can't remember how to interact with that one. There's a way to interact with that. It might be herbs put herbs on it and then it causes your character to like it removes one of their negative quirks it's like really useful r-e-s-p-c-t luckily this hallway is really short the shorter the hallway is the less likely it is that we'll get a hunger tile slash have a fight spawn in in front of us neither of which are great Oh, okay, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll have to do a bunch of withstands, which actually is not a bad idea because uh, he's also kind of low on health. So, like, giving him extra protection is actually, like, very useful. But we're doing we're doing all right right now. Um, I'm making a lot of poor decisions in combat. I think I'm doing too much AoE stuff. I should be, like, focus firing down large threats and then, like, moving forward from there. Like, if I know stress is going to be a problem, taking out stress generators would be ideal in most situations i think but you know uh, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out hunger tile we have one more of those in us before we gotta start worrying another here mariner, another misfortune luckily we have plenty of shovels so not too nervous about those all right what do we got in here some stashed heirlooms a little bit of got a deed and some crests. Not so bad. Otherworldly corruption. Otherworldly corruption. This guy coming over here talking about his otherworldly corruption. Can we just go one day without him talking about his otherworldly corruption, guys? Like these two gotta go, right? She's gotta go first because she's inspirational. So like, we'll blight her. Oh, that's good crit. We'll blight her. Drag him in. Because he can heal, if I'm not mistaken. So he's got to go. Like, immediately he's got to go? Yeah, there we go. Immediately enough where I'm going to ignore the fact that I literally said repeatedly that we need to do stress healing on that guy. Like, I said it like 30 or 40 times in the last, like, two hallways. Luckily, now that she's been blighted, even if this guy protects her, she's going to blight out very slowly. Like, it's going to happen. Like... It's just going to take a couple turns here. Three to be exact. But if we do this... There we go. Uh, let's heal you for nine. It's good. And then we'll just do a stands on him over and over again. Uh, yeah, well, it's fine. Because we're going to withstand with him. Bad? Well, not so bad, actually. 
He's getting a little stressed out for my taste. So let's go ahead and do this a whole bunch. She's dead, I think. So we don't have to worry about her anymore. It's a good miss, actually. It's very helpful. Cut you down. Cut your life into pizza. This is my plastic fork. Uh, let's do... What's Weakening Curse do again? Minus 20% damage? Worthless. Let's just hit him. Not worthless. That's not the right word, but... Not as useful as it could be. Those Blight Darts are super strong, by the way. Just gotta put it out there. Like, I don't know. People, like, really underrate those as, like, a Blight tool during the course of this game. Super good. Gonna need to pop a... Pop one of the concoctions, luminous concoctions after this. Let's go ahead and start healing Derville here. Looks like he needs it. We'll just blight this guy to death with our darts, and we'll progress to heal everybody else. Sort of, like, maintain our, our healthiness a little bit here. I feel like it's a good use of our time. I mean, what? So this guy can only hit Reyna, or Derviel and uh, Lucatiel here, right? So, like, fuck it. We'll just keep healing ourselves. Even if it's just the buff, like, that's still useful. This guy's gonna be dead, like, super fast. Yeah, he's got two more turns in him, basically. Meanwhile, we'll just heal all of our stress and health back. We're gonna let this guy blight out, because I want to get as much of the stress healing done as we can. That's my hope, at any rate. Octocastus. One damage. Honestly, not that big of a deal. I, I should probably bandage him. Huh. That's four damage. That's a lot of damage. Probably would have been worth it. I'm hoping that this guy goes, and then yeah, he'll drop dead. I can just bandage Reynalt now. He's not Reynalt. I gotta stop saying that. I'm missing Reynalt, okay? Leave, leave me alone. Reynolds was my boy. He's my boy. Every time. Eh, that's bad. Watch your step. Oh, I forgot what this one is. Brackish Tide Pool. The water is contaminated. Emphemia. What is that one? Minus 5 speed, minus... Oh, that's... That's really bad. Actually, minus 100% food consumed is actually pretty good. Um, and since our leper doesn't need to be fast, I don't think that that's that big of a deal, to be honest. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. The sex contents are yours. Yes. That is for me to know, and for you to get a shipwreck. Luckily, we brought we brought extra shovels, so we're still sitting pretty well. That uh, that disease actually probably saved our asses here, to be honest. I know that, that sound that doesn't sound right, but like, honestly, I do think that that might be the case. All right, let's pull you in. We got to deal with the Uka, but uh, this guy also got to go, so we're gonna bring him into range for our melee guys to hit him, while you start stacking blights on that dude, because he's got to go. Spearfishing's bad, but we'll deal with him in a minute. Just cut this guy down for a second. Thank you. And then we'll hew, hew, hew on the next turn. Tidal Slam's bad, but Tidal Slam's not as bad as Arterial Pinch, which is actually, I'm actually glad we kept the bandage now, because that's uh, much better. Okay. Got rid of the corpse. Got And uh, the reason I did hew there is because it would also would have let me continue to work forward towards the Uka Major. Who is avenging, unfortunately, which kind of blows, to be honest, but that's okay. No one needs healing right now, so I'm not feeling the burn to heal right now. Let's heal you. I, I just said that I don't feel the burn to heal, but, like... Arterial Pinch is bad. Did no damage, though, which is good. Resisted the bleed, which is great. Cut you. Ah, oh, damn it. Do you have, like, lowered accuracy or something? Let's blight you. Damn it, they didn't, they didn't quite do it. I'll cut him down then. I was hoping that that would kill him, so that way we wouldn't have to do that. But, um, it's not looking like that's going to be the case here. The bleed and blight resist reduction is kind of terrible, to be honest. It's a little scary. Hmm, not great. Not great at all. Uh, do we need to heal anybody? Let's heal you. Damn it. I knew our luck was going to run out eventually. It always does. 
So we gotta be careful. So every time I hit this guy, he causes a bleed and blight resist drop on us. A bleed resist drop on us. Which is not great, to say the least. Um, so we have to be careful about... We have to be careful of that. Yeah, Fester's not that bad. You can just sit in the back there and Fester all you want. You're not in the front row, so I do not give a shit about you. And I'm not fighting a fucking swine tar, so I don't have to care about it. At least that's what I've been led to believe. Probably could have done a heal here. Let's heal you. Go. Good. Uh, continue adventuring. I want to check something really quick. Uh, no. Fish idol, do this. No, fish idol, do this. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I didn't know that that was a thing. Well, that's terrible. I did not know that that was a thing. You will forgive me for my transgression here. Luckily, it didn't cost us anything. We can leave, but holy shit, that was scary. Oh, if that, ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Don't, don't, don't touch the fish idol. Just leave it alone. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, Cove Adventurer. Stress Eater's kind of shitty, but we just keep his stress down. It's not that big of a deal. Um, a broth will cost by 50% less today. Good. That's great, because we have an afflicted lady who needs to get put away here. Uh, we're going to just take everybody. We're not really in a position to, like, get picky. Um, that and, like, am I ever going to turn down a Vestal? Like, really? Come on. Super good. Uh, let's go ahead and put you there. Grotty, you can go in there. She needs to pray, I think. Yeah, you need to pray. And do you have anything that makes it so that you can't do certain things? No? Okay, so then we'll put you in, like, here, because it's the cheapest one. Good. Uh, all right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But, of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!